They do the crime and they do the time. But even after paying their debt to society, ex-offenders often find their criminal record still bars them from the most crucial lifeline back into society. They can't get a job. Gary Meyer of Millville admits he sold drugs, but he served his sentence decades ago, graduated from Wharton, and wants his record expunged. Basically, he wants a clean slate. I need my second chance. I've done everything right. I had to pay my way through the Wharton School. I was precluded from all loans and grants. I haven't had any, any problems since 1992. I can't get any professional licenses coming out of Wharton. So what are we doing here? In the overall majority of prisoners in our system are nonviolent offenders. For those folks, we need to provide an opportunity for them to reclaim their lives. And Governor Christie today announced he'll work with Senator Sandra Cunningham to get an expungement bill through New Jersey's legislature. The governor signed Cunningham's ban the box bill, preventing businesses from making job applicants check a box about their criminal history. An expungement provision would apply only to nonviolent crimes, Cunningham said. I would see an automatic expungement if it's been 10 years or more that you've had no legal issues. Now we have to find the right standard by which to institute expungement, but I absolutely believe that if we want to move to the next step in all this, that expungement has to be an option that is available to those who have earned it and deserve it. Christie addressed a special summit of business leaders, advocates, and ex-convicts designed to urge employers to hire people despite their criminal past. Coke Industries Vice President Mark Holden says they recruit former felons as part of a re-entry reform program. People with criminal records are among some of our best employees. It's a great source of untapped genius and skills and talents. They just want a shot. They want a chance like anybody else. Stefan Oberman agrees. He hires former inmates at Newark's Aero Farms and says they make better workers. We have higher retention rates with past offenders than with conventional uh, employees who don't have a criminal record. We find that rather than a sense, of, a sense of entitlement to a job, we find that there's a sense of gratefulness that they need this job. Sansone Auto Mall trains ex-offenders to be technicians. 100% get a job. If I had to look at, at turnover of, of conventional employees and ex-offenders, the ex-offenders are way further ahead because once they get that job, they know that they have a shot. Despite a growing national trend towards clearing criminal records, fewer than half of the states have general provisions for adult felony expungement. Christie wants New Jersey to pass a law by the end of June. So I think if I can come to an agreement with Sandy, I probably can get the votes that we're going to need to get it done. Reforms pave the way, but advocates say that society and business owners need to change their perspective so that a criminal record doesn't become a lifelong ball and chain. In Trenton, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.